absolutely no idea if this is actually gonna look good because I can't see it. If my head like right in front of it. Tragic really. I actually despise you. This that is all just a front. A lot. Hey everybody. <laughs> this week's video is a little different. Um I wanted to kinda of change it up a little, keep it fresh. <coughs> what? Are you laughing at my wording? Yes. I like my wording. Keep it fresh, funky fresh. Since week we thought we'd talk to you guys about the story of how we met. Because the whole point of this channel is kind of about us. And us as a couple. And you can't really appreciate us as this super cute couple unless you know our super cute backstory. Super cute. Are you here to talk at all other than just wise ass remarks? No. <laughs> so babe, how do we meet? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Well, I kidnapped him. The whole part of my life's a blur. <laughs> How drunk were you? The answer is Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> we met on Tinder, and we matched, and he kind of sounded like a fucking nerd, but he had nice hair. Mm -hmm. And a nice jawline. Mm -hmm. Nice enough, at least. Mm, that picture. If I can find the picture, I'll, like, put it in the frame. You guys can see it. was He's, he's pretty. And, uh... Pretty why? Our first conversation was at like 11 o'clock at night. Probably. If you could have the legs of any animal, what, would, what animal would you pick and why? And I actually don't remember what I said. But it led down this path of like talking about spiders and octopus. Or octopi. Octopussies. And uh, creating a safe haven. A safe haven. That's not a safe haven. No. A uh, section of Portugal where we can uh, Dr. Moreau the shit out of each other and <laughs> turn ourselves into weird animal hybrids. We decided we were going to give you mountain goat legs because you rock. And then I totally look like a demon. Like some sort of hate, satanic you hell spot. Would. You'd be a really hot demon though. Ooh. I was at work and eating at my data bill because I was enjoying our conversation so much that I didn't care if I was on Wi-Fi or not because um, it was nice. And we kept talking and he invited me to go swing dancing with him and his friends. Mm -hmm. And I said maybe, but my really good friend who is an absolute nomad was finally back on the island for uh, for a couple days after being away all summer and I wanted to see her and it was her birthday and so we all uh, were going out and then he and I kept messaging and he tells me that they ended up at, at this mountain uh, this park here and I was like oh that's where we're headed <laughs> like that's really weird and like we were literally on our way to this park and my friend almost flaked on me because he's like oh well come meet up with us and my friend was like, oh, like, I think I kind of want to go home. And I'm like, no, I just told this guy off Tinder that I'm going to meet him in the middle of a park at 11 o'clock at night with booze. No, this is not happening. You are not leaving me. I was just down at the beach part of the park with some friends. And we had, like, Nerf foam swords and we were having sword fights. And I think, no, we didn't have a campfire going. But we had, like, I don't remember what we had. We had everybody's flashlights on. And we went back up and we were just like hanging out in one of my friends has this van and we were just all just sitting. <laughs> okay, that, that sounds really bad. We were all just sitting in this van and then I see this car pull up and I see her walk out with her friend and I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna go say hi. So I just opened up the van and just started like basically prancing over towards them. And we only stayed in the park for about maybe five minutes and then his friend invited us to go to their place with, uh, mm -hmm. with them. And we're like, yeah, maybe. And my friend, who is a big believer in just like, do whatever the fuck, um, whatever the fuck you want, was like, yeah, we'll go with you guys. And so we get in the car and we follow <laughs> this van. What did Emma say while you guys were in the car? Um, that you seemed like a character. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what do you think. And she's like, he's, he's a character. He's interesting. So, yeah, we, we went, and we had a couple drinks, and we stayed there until 3 a.m. I had to work in the morning, which was probably dumb. And he mm -hmm. was, he was a lot more awkward. He was like this, actually. This is not actually Adam, 
Um, I mean, it's physically Adam, but this is not his personality at all. He's not There's a quiet person. Videos. Um, but I was I was going to see a band that I their local band, and uh, we I had invited him. Next night, bus talk. Still kind of awkward because this is awkward. This is awkward. So we got to the venue right before doors opened and of course doors weren't open yet so we went to the pub across the street mm -hmm. and had a drink and that was when he started like, kind of loosening up. We start and you're on fucking Team Valor. We played Pokemon Go. And she was on Team Valor. We got to the club and uh, had a couple more drinks. And listened to the bands and had a really good time. We were in the mosh pit and I was kind of annoyed because he wasn't dancing with me. And he hadn't kissed me. I had no idea whether or not it was like actually a date date. And I kissed him. First you pulled me up to you to get the middle aged lady off your ass. Oh yeah! <laughs> we... We uh, left the club and decided to walk home because we live in the same area. But first... No, let me finish my thought. Before we walked home. Before we walked home. We went to the legislature. Yeah, I know. I don't know if we're including that part. Yeah. We had walked... I don't know, we weren't ready for the night to be over. We weren't ready to go home. And it's only like a 20 minute walk from downtown to our places. So, well, like a half hour to his. So... We, uh, we walked over to the government building, the legislature building, downtown, and we were talking, and he ran through the sprinklers, and it was really cute. We were sitting there, and making out, and he looks at me, he's like, wow, tonight's a night full of firsts. I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, so he tells me, he's like, oh, it's my first mosh pit. My first time making out with someone. And I just look at him, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? He told me that he had... Because somebody was just there to get laid. Well, I was on Tinder. So, you know. Um, and he tells me that, you know, he's not going to sleep with someone until it's, like, serious. And, and, I don't know, it's something that I really respected. And thought was really cute. As much as it annoyed me. Because it was very inconvenient in that moment. <laughs> Yeah, we walked home, and we, he walked me home, and we didn't get to my place till like 6.30 in the morning. And, uh... I thought I didn't get to my place until like 6.30 in the morning. No, you left my place at 6.30. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't want to date, and I didn't want to be in a relationship. So, you know, and then I was going to see other people. And the next weekend, we went out with some of your friends. Mm -hmm. And we went and played pool. Well, to the pool hall. I didn't play pool. When everyone left, we weren't ready to leave, so we got in the car and we drove around for a bit and I didn't drop him off till like midnight and I said I wanted to see him again the next day, but I worked, so I picked him up when I got off work at like 11 o'clock at night, drove him out to this little bog and we laid mm -hmm. by the bog and stargazed and drank some wine and I told you I wanted to be your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Took me all of a week. To wear me down. I drove until some ungodly hour because it hit a point where I was so tired that I couldn't drive anymore. Like literally it was unsafe. So we pulled over in the parking lot of a shopping mall and uh, slept in the car. And then we woke up and one of his friends was the same friend that we hung out with the weekend before. At their house. Yeah, was having a bit of a crisis. And I uh, was freaking out and like really worried and he's like, hey, can you drive me to their place? And I'm like, yeah, of course. And uh, we made pancakes with your friend. Well, tried to make pancakes. Do you remember that monster fucking pancake you guys made? Yes, and then I ate it. It was so gross. And nobody else was eating it? It was runny in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Went to Tim's for breakfast because I hadn't eaten the pancake. Um, and this was the day that I was supposed to go to LARP. Yeah, he was supposed to go to LARP at like 10 o'clock, and it was like 8.30. Uh, we 11 having... o'clock. Or whatever. 11, I think it was like 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Yeah. And we were sort of like, this has been a really good time, but like, we've got to separate now because I have to go to LARP and you probably don't want to come with me. You probably 
No, you didn't have anything to do. You just didn't want to come with me. Yeah, LARP was not really high on my interest list. Yeah. Was that at least fun to watch when you did eventually? Yeah. Hmm. And then, oh, it was probably because the fucking guy fell off the cliff. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, yeah, no, we were sitting in Tim's and just sort of like, all right, well, I have to go to LARP. And then we saw an ad for this uh, outdoor, basically adult jungle gym called Wild Play. And was it you or me? It was me. I said, I'm just like, I've never been to Wild Play. I'm just like, me neither. Or no, I had been with yeah. Maddie previously. I'm like, it's so much fun. And then we decided that instead of going to LARP, we were going to go to Wild Play. Tired as fuck. Like, we'd had a collective maybe five hours sleep the entire weekend. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We just kind of created this basis of adventure right off the bat. Like, mm -hmm. every time we hung out, it was really late night. You know, even when you met my, par my parents, my mom. <gasps> you know, we stayed up till an ungodly hour and then drove my friend to the airport. And then, you know, went to sleep at like three in the morning. And we always just had adventures. Mm -hmm. So we kind of decided with everything we're planning over the next couple of years and we'll get more into that in another video that we wanted to share it with the world and kind of, I don't know, encourage more people to be more spontaneous and do more crazy things because, I mean, I was, I took a risk and I met the love of my life. <coughs> and he will talk more in these videos as he gets more comfortable, I swear. He's there when we're vlogging. He talks more when we're vlogging than I do. Yeah, I'm more comfortable when we're actually hiking. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll be back with another adventure next week, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Talk to you guys soon.